Hey guys, and welcome to the Clear English Corner. I'm Keenan, your personal American English pronunciation coach. I'm super excited about this lesson because I'm welcoming a special guest. I wanted to introduce you guys to Ethan from the Learn English with TV series channel. I love this channel, you guys, and everything they're doing over there. Ethan is an ESL teacher, and he uses clips from popular American TV shows like Friends, Breaking Bad, The Big Bang Theory, Ellen, and tons of others to teach all aspects of the English language, from grammar to vocabulary to pronunciation to cultural insights and information. The Learn English with TV series channel is an excellent resource for anyone who's learning the English language independently, as I know so many of you all are. And today, Ethan's here to share a lesson on common phrasal verbs. So without further ado, here's Ethan. Thanks so much, Keenan. You actually made me blush with that uh, sweet introduction there. And hello, Clear English Corner. So I have found that English learners tend to think one of the most frustrating parts of learning English is the phrasal verbs, right? But today we will make it a lot more simple and more fun to learn some of the most common phrasal verbs in English with the TV series Friends. And if you like making English learning fun, then we teach you with new lessons with your favorite TV series every single week. You can learn more and subscribe by clicking up here. All right, now let's get into today's lesson. Hang out. This is one of the best phrasal verbs to add to your vocabulary. Natives use it all the time, meaning to spend time with someone or in a place. Example, he and his girlfriend always hang out in the park. <laughs> well, listen, this has been great, but I'm officially wiped. Mm, me too, we should get going. No, no, I mean, I, no, come on, you guys, I mean. Hang out and talk anymore. Rachel, that's all we do. <laughs> we will also use it as a vague answer when someone asks, what are you doing? To express that we aren't really doing anything in particular. Example, I just want to hang out this weekend and watch Netflix. Anyway, if you, if you don't feel like being alone tonight, uh, Joey and Chandler are coming over to help me put together my, my new furniture. Yes, and we're very excited about it. <laughs> Actually, thanks, but I think I'm just gonna hang out here tonight. It's been a long day. Oh, sure, okay, sure. Hey, Phoebe, do you want to help? Oh, I wish I could, but I don't want to. <laughs> Screw up. To fail at something or do something unsuccessfully. A more vulgar way that natives say this is to fuck up. Example, we screwed up on the English exam and didn't pass. I'm sorry, my bad. I screwed up. <laughs> How long has she been in the bathroom? <laughs> Uh, I don't think she's in the bathroom. Her coat is gone. Well, maybe it's cold in there. <laughs> oh, maybe I screwed up the first date I had in nine years. That could be it. Oh, God. <laughs> turn out to result in a certain way. Example, it turns out she's not pregnant. You, you know, I've only been with one woman my whole life, and she turned out to be a lesbian. <laughs> You called animal control? What? Do you not like them? <laughs> Marcel is an illegal, exotic animal. I'm not allowed to have him in the city. If they find him, they'll take him away from me. Hi, thanks for coming. Somebody called about a monkey? Oh, oh, oh <laughs> you know I... what? That was a complete misunderstanding. Yeah, we, we thought we had a monkey, but we didn't. <laughs> it turned, turned out it was a hat. Cat. Cat, Cat. what did I say? <laughs> All right, so I hope you're having a lot of fun with this lesson so far, but it is not enough to just passively learn these. You need to put your knowledge to the test, right? That is why I have prepared a short quiz for you to actually test your knowledge of these phrasal verbs. So after that lesson, you should definitely check that out. Keenan created a video all about word pairs, which you will find over on our channel, along with that phrasal verb quiz and you can also find links to both of those down in the description box below. So let's dive back into the lesson. Get along. To have a good relationship. Example, I used to fight a lot with my brother when we were kids, but now we get along fine. Hey, Phoebes, guess who we saw today? Your sister, Ursula. Oh, really? Oh, uh, Phoebes, 
So you you guys just don't get along? It's mostly just dumb sister stuff, you know. I mean, like everyone always thought of her as the pretty one, you know. And... <laughs> oh, oh, she was the first one to start walking, even though I did it later that same day. <laughs> But to my parents, by then it was like, yeah, right, well, what else is new? <laughs> Freak out, to panic, to be overcome with anxiety or be really excited. Example, I'm freaking out about my test tomorrow. I haven't studied at all. We can also say flip out with the same meaning. Example, she flipped out when she won the tickets to the Coldplay concert. Dad, before I was born, did you freak out at all? I'm not freaking out. I'm just saying if someone had come to me with the idea of this. Yeah, dad, dad, dad. <laughs> I'm <clears throat> talking about the whole uh, baby thing. Did you uh, ever get this sort of panicky, oh my god, I'm going to be a father kind of a thing? No. <laughs> Your mother really did the work. I was busy with the business. I wasn't around that much. Oh, I tasted Ben's milk and Ross freaked out. I, I did not freak out. Why'd you freak out? Because it's breast milk. <laughs> it's gross. My breast milk is gross. This should be fun. <laughs> Bail on someone. To ditch someone, that is, to cancel plans with him or her, often without any notice or explanation. Example, I can't believe you bailed on me and I had to watch the movie alone. What are you guys doing tomorrow night? Actually, tomorrow night kind of depends on how tonight goes. Oh, uh, listen, about tonight. No, 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 don't you dare bail on me. The only reason she's going out with me is because I said I could bring a friend for her friend. Yes, I know, but her friend sounds like such a pathetic mess. I know, but... <laughs> if it is at the end of the sentence or without an object, we just say bail. Wendy, we had a deal. Yeah, you promised. Wendy, Wendy, Wendy! Oh. Hmm, who is that? <laughs> Wendy Bail. I, I have no waitress. Oh, that's too bad. Bye-bye. <laughs> Back up someone or something to support someone or her argument or point of view. Example, she might be wrong, but she's my wife, so I'm gonna back her up. The witness backed up her story in court. We can also say to have someone's back. Well, go over to her. She's not with anyone. Oh, yeah, right. And what would my opening line be? Excuse me. <laughs> She's a person. You can do it. Oh, please. Could she be more out of my league? Ross, back me up here. He can never get a woman like that in a million years. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> awesome. Thanks so much, Ethan. So there you have it, guys. Be sure to visit the Learn English with TV series channel for more engaging and fun lessons like this one, including another lesson that Ethan and I did together on common word pairs that reduce with examples from the popular TV show Friends. I'll share a link to that lesson in the video description. Also, for an in-depth pronunciation lesson on common phrasal verbs with the word get, be sure to check out this lesson. Again, I'll share a link for you in the video description. As always, thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.